Wait a minute. Say that again. Say it again. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to start this over again because I had to restart it. Oh, send this to him. So, oh, 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 I have no qualms about how you know how I feel about Doug Fisher. Fuck him. So, I'm loving the outrage from, quote, I'm loving the outrage from all the Triple G haters. Loving it. This is what Kovalev Ward felt like for me. Eat it. End quote. Well, like I said, I'll say this once again. Hey, Doug Fisher, real talk. Fuck you and your pooty cane ponytail. Tippy tap. <laughs> now, nigga, <laughs> since you listened, to, okay, let's talk about Ward Kovalev. Totally two different fights. Okay, Andre Ward got knocked down. He really did get knocked down, but he got up and fought. He fought. He fought. Sergey Kovalev was the one in survivor mode. Look at how much he was holding Andre Ward. He was preventing Andre Ward from getting off. It wasn't that Andre Ward was holding him. If you look at those rounds, those could have been swing rounds. But I, Andre Ward was more aggressive towards the second half of the fight. I told Kathy to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. he totally won that fight. What happened was HBO was just trying to discredit everything Andre Ward to the first round. If you look at the first round closely, Andre Ward controlled the pace of the first round using his jab, using his footwork, maneuvering against Sergey Kovalov. He was controlling the pace of the first round. Yeah. And then Sergey Kovalov landed that hard jab. That's about it. Yeah. And I, that's not enough to give a dude a round. Yeah. You know, if you watch watch that fight with the set, uh, anybody that, okay, I want any, anybody that's listening, for real, watch Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalov, with the sound off, be objective, and you will see that that fight was close as fuck. It could have went either way. <laughs> Daniel Jacobs clearly beat Triple G. I mean, it was obvious. So it was blatant. Shit about, and, and, and unlike Triple G's knockdown, you know what I'm saying? Andre Ward, like I said, clearly got knocked down. Mm -hmm. Daniel Jacobs looked like he slipped. Yeah, he, he was in between. He was going from he was going from orthodox to softball. You know? Yeah. And that's another thing. That befuddled Triple G. He didn't know what to do when Daniel Jacobs did that. Triple G that can't do nothing when you're throwing punches. I told you that in my video. I understand this shit, man. And I I said in the video, whatever Daniel Jacobs wants to do in this fight, he will be able to do in this fight. What Triple G wants to do, he will be able to do. The difference in this fight is will will Daniel Jacobs come with the heart of a Heart of a lion, and he came with the heart of a lion, and he won. I was thinking about the fight. I said it wasn't a robbery, and at the end of the day, he was cheated. He was he was blatantly cheated, blatantly cheated. Tom Lawler had about a hundred thousand dollars cash in his pocket, and he walked beside the judge, and he put twenty thousand there, twenty thousand there, and twenty thousand there. And said, "I need Triple G to win because we need Canelo in September, so I need so I can cash this nigga out, and we done." You know? Okay, well, I'm sure you remember, and this, uh, like I said, it's funny, it's almost like deja vu, like, because this damn show reminds me, I keep saying this, I've said this, when I spoke to Dante, he, he agreed, I said this with Coach Shelton um, Harrison, mm -hmm. just, just so much reminds me of Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Strong. Where Felix Strong clearly beat Oscar De La Hoya. Mm -hmm. When Oscar De La Hoya came into that fight, damn near with a pot belly, and he was all pudgy and shit mm -hmm. around the waist. And then they they gave the fight to Oscar De La Hoya, and most people said, hey, man, Felix Strong won, won that fight. Uh -huh. And you had the HBO apologist at the time, especially Jim Lampley, who was going on. No, not Jim Lampley. That old goat, Larry Merchant. Mm -hmm was going on, you know, boxing show after boxing show, condoning that that fight was a robbery, saying, well, would you want to be responsible? They had to give the fight to Oscar. Would you want to be responsible for blowing a multi-million dollar potential fight with Bernard Hopkins? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you condone, you know, cheating. You mm -hmm. condone fixing fights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that I mean... just And that showed me right then and there, from that day forward, I said, I have all the proof that this old goat is a fucking racist. See what they should have did. Was, but he proved it. See what and they sh I Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So that was pretty much it. Yeah, what they should have did, Town, was fix his fucking life. 
Motherfucker is a fucking cokehead, man. He's a cokehead. He's an alcoholic. He he allegedly fucks fifteen year olds, man. He is a drag queen. He hangs out with gays and prostitutes, man. Man, I I just it it just bewilders me that HBO goes out of their way to disrespect Andre, son of God Ward. And yet protects a womanizer, an alleged rapist, a crossdresser, a cokehead, a guy who drives down city streets drunk as a skunk. You know what I mean? It's just his record, his rap sheet is longer than most rappers' rap sheet. <laughs> you know what so, I mean? I mean, well, you know what I mean? You know, it's just and that's funny, man, because it's funny that you have, have me on the line saying this shit. Mm-hmm. Basically, you know, HBO looks like idiots. Because this is something that I never forgot. And I'm going to do my own video of this probably later on the night before mm-hmm. I, I call it the night mm-hmm. about Oscar De La Hoya's history. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember something that they did to Floyd Mayweather that just like really pissed me off. It, it like, this is, like I said, this was the interview that I think where Floyd, a couple of weeks later, he called HBO. Uh, commentators racist mm-hmm. because I don't know if you remember after Floyd had defeated Oscar De La Hoya mm-hmm. oh yeah they, yeah oh they, oh they, hell yeah I remember that interview, interview where they demean, they demeaned Floyd to the fullest they tried and to they said, and he knew it and they made Oscar look like he was some kind of hero was mm-hmm. anybody Floyd may have won the fight but Oscar to the eyes of the public is a hero HBO knew about all that shit with him what happened in Cancun they knew about the coke they knew about all that shit Mm -hmm. and they saying this dude is a hero and like i was telling people telling other people all i can say whatever happened to oscar de la hoya whatever happened in that hotel when he was dressed up as a chick and he was pinned up against the wall he better hope that it ain't no damn video i hope it's a video i hope it's a fucking video man because i don't like their racist their race their racially charged tactics And, and people say people get on us having racially charged tactics but ours is a response to them and it forces us to cocoon and protect our protect our own you know what i mean and it's just i'm i'm hbo showed their true colors tonight man it was oh they showed their true colors man true colors god damn yeah they yeah they true colors yeah is if it's black is whack. Yeah. So I you mean, know Penel they Whitaker. Like, fuck, they like they might. You know what? Jim Jim Lampley and Max Kellerman and Harold Letterman. They might as well do their broadcasts in white hoodies because <laughs> that's what it almost seems like you're watching. Mm-hmm. Especially when it's a, a brother fighting somebody like Triple G. It's just almost like it's a fucking clan rally or something. Mm-hmm. And I wonder will they do that when he fights? Uh, Canelo, are they gonna like enhance his performance against Canelo? Mm. So you have to wonder, shit, is Canelo gonna get a fair shake? But look, we already know what's going on with HBO. I stand by what I said with what happened with Daniel Jacobs. Mm-hmm. H- HBO, Tom Loeffler, and a lot of these stupid, uh, fuckboy Triple G fans, I-, I say this again, they might be able to stomach him losing to. Canelo mm-hmm. to a to a Mexican you're right, guy. You're right. You're right. But if he, I'm telling you, if Triple G loses to a black guy, they just won't be able to handle it. No, they won't. I think some of these motherfuckers will literally stand in front of uh subway trains. Yeah, and you jump off buildings. Yeah, you know who can attest to that? It happened twice to him. Pernell Whitaker happened to him twice. He he lost to the old Mexican. He he, he lost to the old Mexican and lost to the new Mexican. Man, it's just and he won both fights. You know what I mean? So it's just. Yeah, he clearly, he beat both Chavez and he beat Oscar De La Hoya. And that's another reason why I got pissed off at Oscar, because Oscar refused to give Pernell Whitaker a rematch, but then his pussy ass was hollering about, oh, Floyd should have gave me a rematch, and he retired because he didn't want to give me a a, a rematch or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep believing that bullshit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it is what it is. Now, let's touch on the whole subject of this... uh, this race shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how many fucking times I gotta say I don't have nothing against Mexicans. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna 